Hello y'all, I'm Nancy of Nancy's Notions and welcome to my channel. I'm a part-time reseller of pre-loved items. I sell on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. I hope you enjoy these videos. I uh, will show you what I bought, what I sold, and how much I sold it for. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hello y'all. Welcome to Thursday. It really is the 7th this time. I was wrong yesterday. Um, we just had uh, two sales today on eBay. Funny enough, both of them media mail. So uh, I'm gonna go over those with you now. And then uh, after this, I will go ahead and show you the Goodwill haul that I didn't get in uh, last week's video. So let's get to it. Um, first we have this uh, Pinto repair manual for uh, models. 1971 through 1973. Uh, my husband has a whole lot of repair manuals that he has accumulated over the years. This is one of them. I took a $5 offer on it because it's in pretty bad condition. I mean, still usable, but it, you know, just looks in pretty bad condition. So I took a $5 offer uh, plus um, media mail shipping for that. And then the second item is this uh, sealed CD. I have zero clue who this is. It's going to be all right. And it is S Connection featuring Annabelle. Uh, about a year ago, um, someone gave us a entire huge suitcase full of CDs. And about half of them were still sealed. They are like demo copies or they do the music at parties and stuff. DJs. DJ copies, um, but they're all very like obscure, or most of them are very obscure titles. A lot of them I've never heard of, um, but I went ahead and I listed all the sealed ones, and I still have a milk crate full of ones that have already been opened but are still in good condition. So one day I'll get to those. Anyway, this one sold for uh, $14.98 uh, plus shipping, and they I sent them an offer and they countered and I went ahead and took it. I figured my buy cost is zero. So $14, $14. That's the only two sales that we had today. Um, we'll come back tomorrow and see what sold on Friday. Hope everybody's having a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Go ahead and show you what I got at the Goodwill on Sunday. Um, it's a Last Supper cross. And I didn't open it up, but it looks like it's the, like, that Scirocco wood, maybe. Um, it was originally $12.99, and I paid $3.99, $4 for it. But I thought it was nice and still in the package. And the second thing I got was these two books, um, Wings of Silver and Apples of Gold. They were actually like in the cassettes and DVDs and stuff, so I thought they were some kind of media, but they're not. They let's see, what was the year? Oh, it's I, I, not a clue. It's Roman numerals. So if you guys know those, feel free to figure out what the year is. They look like they're from the 80s, maybe. For two dollars a piece. This one does have a uh, inscription. Oh, maybe earlier than that. That's to mommy or to Debra Sue from mommy on 1225.78. So this was someone's Christmas gift. Uh, this one does have some writing in it, but they seem to be nice little inspirational books. One plush, because there's always got to be at least one plush. But this is a Pokemon. I don't know which Pokemon. It's from 2021. Some kind of chicken. I'm sure someone out there knows exactly what this is, but I will have to Google lens it. So I was on an inspirational kick. I got, this is like a little votive candle holder, although, or tea light. I would probably just use electric tea lights in that. It looks like Jim Shore, but it is not. Um, but it is, whoop, it is the Three Wise Men. Um, just marked whoop, made in China and it was $2.99 it's in good shape it doesn't have any 
cracks or broken pieces on the resin. So Christmas coming up, I thought that would be a good piece. So I've got these two cute little clay or terracotta pumpkins. They're probably just from someone's art class, but I thought they were cute. And they were $2 a piece. And the last thing I got, in, uh, it's in really nice condition, this thermal uh, shirt. And I'm back. We have people here trimming the bushes today and the, my tom turkey was harassing them. I had to put him away. Okay, you didn't know I was gone, but I was gone. <laughs> um, the last thing I got was this black and red thermal. Uh, the name is Urban Pipeline. I've never heard of that before, but it sounded interesting. And if it's not worth anything, I'll just give it to my husband because he wears these in the wintertime. That was my little Goodwill haul for Sunday. I hope that you enjoyed that. And I will try to update um, with comps that I find uh, for these pieces um, as I research them. So you'll know if I did any good or not. So I hope everybody has a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, y'all. It is Friday, September the 8th. Yes, September the 8th. And um, I have a few sales to go over with you today. It wasn't a bad sales day. Um, nothing really high dollar, but uh, we did get a couple of $30 sales or so. Um, I think it came up to gross uh, about $150 sales day. So let's get to it and take a look at those now. All right, first we've got uh, three Mercari sales. Uh, the first is this um, dish, it's, it's Syracuse, Syracuse China, and um, it's Masonic dishware. I bought a, a lot of these uh, from Goodwill. I don't it's probably been at least a year ago, and I think I have three pieces left, and they're all serving pieces. This is one of them. Um, so this sold today on Mercari for $24, and I paid about 80 cents a piece for these pieces. Uh, the second thing that we have is this um, horoscope. It's got sand in it, so it's not really heavy, but I guess it would be considered a paperweight. Um, but it's got all of the uh, horoscope symbols on it and I got this at an estate sale I think back in April um, and I paid a dollar seventy five and it sold for twelve dollars on Macari and then our last Macari sale is this uh, little vintage chicken toy let's see if I can do this one-handed kind of mesmerizing and a little bit fun um, I paid 50 cents for this. I think at the same estate sale where I got the horoscope cube and it sold for $15 uh, on Macari today. All right, we had one Poshmark sale. I'm not gonna unpack it from here. It's a, a Ralph Lauren a quarter zip pullover, extra, extra large. I'll put up a screenshot so you can see what that looks like. And um, that sold, someone she's she started out with a really low ball offer of like nine dollars and we finally settled on 13 mostly because i was just tired of going back and forth with her because <laughs> i think i had originally listed for like 20. um but i also got that at a yard sale earlier this year and i paid two dollars for it so eh, not much profit there our ebay sales um i have this little sand um like a native american what is that called? The um, the warrior? The I don't remember. Anyway, a little Native American sand art. And it is signed by Yazzie. And that sold for $14.25. I sent an offer. And I paid $0.99 cents for it. I, I think at a thrift store. But don't quote me on that. Um, we also sold this Jada Toys uh, diecast Roadrunner car. Um, I think it's from the Fast and the Furious. I don't know. Someone gave us a box of uh, diecast 
cars. And this one sold for $10 plus shipping. Um, we sold this Hello Kitty Christmas plush. Oh, sorry, let me show her to you. And um, I sold her for $15 plus shipping and I paid $1.25. I think I also got her in a state sale. So give her a little hit with the lint brush before she goes out. And then more alabaster fruit. Uh, this pair of, they're either nectarines or apricots. I put both in the listing. And um, they sold on offer. Someone sent me an offer of $30. I had them listed for $35. And so I took the $30 offer. And um, they do both still have their little wooden stems in there. And I paid about 70 cents a piece for these. And then our last sale, I'm just going to show one, um, but there's a set of four of these um, Chevy center caps, and these sold for $33, and I think at this point I've paid nothing for these, that huge um, box that my husband got, he only paid $50 for, and we have well exceeded we're well into the profit on these. So this, again, they sell for $33 plus shipping. Well, that's all the sales that we have today for Friday. Um, I, there's a handful of yard sales uh, kind of in my area within a, I don't know, I'd say a 10 or 15 mile radius. Um, I think I'll probably try to do some yard sales tomorrow morning. I haven't been to yard sales in a while because it just got so hot. <laughs> I'm in Tennessee, Southeast Tennessee, and we had a few weeks there where it was 90 or above every single day. And I just couldn't bring myself to go out to yard sales. It was just too hot. So um, I do need to build up some inventory, get myself ready for the fourth quarter, get some stuff listed. Um, so I hope everybody else had a great Friday and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, y'all. Welcome back. It is Saturday, September the 9th, and I did get to go yard selling this morning. Um, there were only about five sales in my area and, or in the immediate area. I didn't really feel like driving way out. Um, one of them didn't exist, so, <laughs> oh well. Um, but I'd like to show you what I picked up this morning. And I'll try to put some comps up on the screen after I look them up. I haven't researched any of them as of yet. So let's get to it. I got this entire box of ties. I don't know how many are in here. I didn't even count them. I don't even know why I bought them. But the, I was looking at the Looney Tunes one. And the guy said, you can have the whole box for a dollar. So, you know, who says no to a whole box of ties for a dollar? Um, looks like some of them are probably some vintage ties. So I've never really had a lot of luck selling ties. Here's one from Sears. Um, but we'll try again. So entire box of ties for a dollar. This, this was at the first sale. It was the only thing I bought. I got this uh, Eddie Bauer backpack for $5. Um, I don't know, it's really nice and very clean and has a lot of pockets. Even one of these, this little side pocket over here is insulated. So I thought it was pretty nice. And I like the gray color. I know we're a little bit out of backpack season, but I usually have pretty good luck selling backpacks no matter what time of year. One of the sales I had an address to, I got there and turns out it was a community sale. Uh, so that was the same, the first one was the one where I got the backpack. And then the second one I stopped at had quite a few of these uh, Department 56 Disney Christmas Village things. Most of the other ones were small, but I did pick up these two larger ones for $10 a piece. I haven't opened them up yet, so let's open them up and see what see what we've got. got the Mickey's Village water tower, a little Christmas tree, and another little tree that's got, it does, this one doesn't have a plug on it, so 
and then this one is the cocoa shop look at the little chimney it's a cup <laughs> that's cute it does have some glitter so now i've got glitter and let's see let's plug it in see if it works looks like all the little lights are on in there so that's good this one actually had a 79.99 when it was new and then the water tower 44.99 so hopefully they still retain some value and i'll get these listed quickly uh so hopefully we can get them sold right here at Christmas time. Next thing we've got is this is a Disney store. It's from the year 2000 and it's Baby New Year and then is Donald and then Old Man 19 1999 is um is that one Goofy or Pluto? Goofy and then a Mickey Mouse. It just needs a little cleaning off. This was um, the last yard sale that I stopped at, and it's the lady that usually does estate sales that I like to go to, but I guess she was just having a yard sale, and her garage was packed. I'm sure there was a thousand and one other things in there I could have bought, but I just couldn't find them. <laughs> so, but uh, I thought this was cute. And still has its tags on it and it has an eight dollar price tag on it but she charged me seven then at another sale i can't i might have to redistribute his stuff in he won't his head won't stay up um i found this big bird he's a build-a-bear big bird um i like sesame street so even if he's not worth anything and all of her stuff was half price so i paid a dollar fifty for him she also had an ET that was like the um, a fair prize. I had you could tell it had like the styrofoam pellets in it, but he was missing an eye, so I didn't get him. And the same sale with the Big Bird. I got these for the little Tupperware, uh, like kids cups, and I think those were a dollar. One of them has a tag. Yeah, she was the half price sale, so I paid a dollar for those. The sale where I got the Mickey Mouse thing. I got this little bag of, I think these probably came off a of mobile. They have little strings on them, but they're little wooden characters on animals. That's a cat. The horse looks like he's been, oh, sorry. Um, I don't know about the horse, that horse anyway. Maybe he's just been replaced. And then there's the, the last one. And then I just found this in a random box of stuff. It's just a, it's a dog head, but it has a magnet in his nose. I just thought it was interesting and she threw that in for free. So. Then the last thing I got, this was also um, at the same sale is this Mahjong set and she charged me 15 and it still has the um, paperwork. I don't think it's that. I mean, it's made in Japan, but it's got tiny dice. I don't know how to play Mahjong. Here's a bunch of little sticks and then all the tiles are there. I can play Mahjong on the computer but I don't know how to play it. Oh yeah, look at there. All of these things come out. So, looks like all the tiles are there. Are these blank? Oh, look at that. Well, they have bamboo. They have like bamboo bottoms and look how thick they are. Huh. So I'll have to research this a little bit and find out. Hopefully my $15 was worth it. I don't think they're bake lot or anything. They just feel like regular plastic, but very nice.
And I can't pick that up. There we go. It's got the rule booklet. And then this nice little case. And it does say made. It has a little sticker here. Made in Japan. And then, oh, I did get one hat for 50 cents. I don't know. I may just give this to my husband. Um, it's a real tree hat, and then it has airboat adventures. It's got an alligator on an airboat on it. That's cute. Who makes this? That's just Port Authority. It does have a real tree tag, so we'll look that up and see if it's worth anything. That was our yard sale haul for today. It was fun to be able to go out. I haven't been in a while. Um, I did limit myself. I had $60 and I spent every penny of it. So <laughs> um, I'm glad there wasn't any more that you know would make me have to go back to the ATM. I didn't want to have to spend a lot of money. So hopefully I got some good stuff. Again, I'll put some comps up on the screen for uh, when I do research. And I hope everybody else had a great Saturday and that you found some great things at yard sales or thrift stores or estate sales today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, sorry for the bad angle on this one, but I did get one more thing and it's just this little vintage, it might even be antique, uh, wood footstool with a little tapestry covering. It uh, doesn't have any markings on it, but the bottom is really neat how they made the curve. I just use the little slats and I got this at the same sale as the one where I had the got the ties and the lady was just like make me an offer so I offered ten dollars um, may or may not be worth it but if nothing else I'll keep it for myself because it's pretty cool all right hello y'all welcome back it is Sunday September the 10th and I've got some what solds for the weekend uh, not a whole lot of sales. For some reason, I, I don't know. My stuff doesn't sell on the weekends. I'm like a weekday <laughs> seller. I don't know. Um, but some pretty good, uh, dollar-wise, pretty good sales. So, let's get to it. All right. First, we had one Etsy sale. And it is, um, this pair of Pepsi glasses, Sylvester and Tweety. I think they're from like 1976, 1978. Um, but these sold on Etsy for $65. And um, they do qualify for the free shipping. So um, I think I paid about a 50 cents a piece for these. It was a garage clean out. And um, I got the whole set except for Speedy Gonzales. Um, so I just paired them up or sold them singly depending on their value. And so these did better together. And I think I've had these almost a year now. I think I got them last November. So that's our Etsy sale. The rest of these are eBay sales. Um, first we've got a giant polar bear. He's a vintage Dakin polar bear and he I mean I paid a quarter for him at the uh, Samaritan Center which is a Seventh-day Adventist thrift store close to me and their flesh is all a quarter a piece unless otherwise marked um, he is a little dingy and he has kind of a spot here on his back but um, He's still pretty cool. I didn't really find a whole, uh, very many other ones like him. But let's see, I uh, had some emails back and forth with a customer who was interested, but she was in California. So she was about $10 to her. So we um, landed on a price of $15 plus shipping for him. Next, we have this uh, vintage GE telephone, radio, alarm clock combo. I paid $5 for that at a yard sale, I think in April. 
and it sold for what did it sell for I sent someone an offer $19 plus shipping and it does work the clock the everything works I didn't I couldn't test the actual telephone part because we don't have a landline but I'm gonna assume since everything else works that works also and I did disclose that in the listing um, the next thing we have is this birdie personal alarm it's extremely loud when you open it up so I'm not gonna do that for you <laughs> but it's a, a piercing screech and I think they you may have to I don't know if you have to have a I had some people ask me about it if there was a subscription that came with it or if it had the keychain and it's like nope it's just the birdie but it does work and um, my husband found this in a car he was junking out so it was free and I took an offer of ten dollars for it um, we have an R2D2 bop it and I don't have the batteries in it but he does work and uh, this came in that big lot of toys that I got for free. So zero buy cost on this. And it sold for $15 and is going internationally to Spain. So that's fun. Another one of the diecast cars that we got in the box of free cars. And it sold for $20 plus shipping. And then the last thing is, this also came in the free toy box. I just realized that a lot of the things that I'm selling today had zero buy costs, so that's nice. This is three, I don't know anything about video games, so I may have sold these two cheap. I don't know how to test them. We didn't have any games to even begin to test them. They did power on. Um, but there are three PS2, I think they're Slims in here, plus two controllers. And I had someone, I had them listed for $75, and someone sent me a $60 offer, and I took it. Free into $60, I will not argue with. All right, it is still Sunday, September the 10th, and I thought I'd just pop in here. We got three more sales this evening, so wanted to add those to today's count. Um, we did sell the Mickey Mouse Water Tower on eBay for $45 plus shipping. On Etsy, I sold this brass turtle ashtray. And I paid $10 for him at an estate sale a couple of months ago, and he sold on Etsy for $30. And then another Bonanza sale. Ooh, sit up there. Uh, this Wild Republic otter with his little purple starfish. And he sold for... Oh, what did he sell for? $15, I think. I didn't run it down, but that sounds about right. They paid $19 total, so $14 or $15. And I paid a dollar for him at a little flea market that we stopped at a while back. So that is the last three sales of Sunday. I'm going to go ahead and get these packed up, and we'll get them out tomorrow. All right, so that is all the sales that we have so far today. And I hope everybody else had a great weekend and found some good treasures and sold some good treasures. Uh, just an update, I did get the Mickey Mouse Christmas Village pieces uh, photographed last night and then I listed them this morning. Um, put the water tower on all three platforms, uh, eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. Um, but I only I listed the Coco shop only on eBay. There's only one other one listed right now uh, and one sold. The sold comp, well, you saw that in the video. I think it was like 265 or 269. And then the one that is listed is also for 260. So I listed mine for 250. 
and it already has quite a few watchers. Um, so I'm just going to let it sit there on eBay for a couple of days. And then if it doesn't sell on eBay, then I'll pop it and I'll activate the um, listings on Poshmark and Mercari and see what happens there. So pretty excited about that one. That'll be a nice, a nice profit. All right. I'm going to get these packed up so I can drop them off at the post office today. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions. I wanted to thank you for watching. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again next week with another video. Bye-bye.